Hi folks, um, this video is a follow-up to um, a video I made a couple of months ago called ClickView Auto Reload and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a scheduled task in Windows to automatically open the file at a specified uh, time um, and then the ClickView file itself will reload once that's open so if we go to the ClickView file from that we used for the video um, a couple of months ago this is the file here we're going to settings document properties um triggers and uh, document event triggers uh, event triggers on open has an action so i'm going to edit that edit the module and you can see there's a piece of vb script that says once the do document is active reload it um, and then the, that just says reload it on the dashboard sheet so Again, if you want to go into, you can see that more detail in the video from a couple of months ago. I'm just going to click OK here. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I'm going to close this file. Actually, I'm going to open. I'm going to go into Control Panel, um, Schedule Tasks. I'm going to add a schedule task. I'm going to click Next. This uh, take a couple of moments. Actually, once I've done this um, and I reopen the file, there's some section access in the file, so I'll have to put in a password, but um, I'm not going to change that because it's the same file that I use for most of the videos. So this gives you a list of um, programs to, to, to choose from. So I'm going to click Browse. I'm going to choose uh, My C Drive, Click View, and uh, Test.QVW is the one that I use for most of the Click View videos. On YouTube so I'm just gonna double click that once that's done it gives you um, a list of tasks would you want to run this daily weekly monthly one time only when my computer starts when I log in the bottom two is probably the best too but for this video I'm going to choose um, one time only I'm going to click on next I'm going to choose 2050 because it's 2048 at the moment so hopefully I can put in my password quick enough Click next. Click open advanced properties for this task when I click finish. I'll get an error message here, but it should still work. You can see the schedule task is running there. I'm just going to click OK. Um, and then in the uh, I'm going to click on run only if logged on. Um, actually, the schedule is for 2050, so I'm just going to click OK. So if I close this down. Um, I might have done that a little bit too quick because I have um, a couple of minutes to go because it's 2048 at the moment and I have a schedule to run so it's a minute away um, in the meantime while I'm waiting for the schedule task to run it should open the click view file um, and it should automatically actually when it opens I will have to put in the my password because there's section access on the test.qvw so um, in the meantime so that's just uh, my home page for the number of videos that I've put up. So I think I've 87 videos so far. So uh, you know, don't be afraid to um, add some comments or you know, send me a request for videos that you're in, you're interested in um, seeing. I'm still learning as I go. I mean, this is all self-taught. So I'm trying to kill a bit of time here. Hopefully, this will. Uh, Click view for it should open any second now. So there you are now. So it's twenty fifty, and uh, I'm just gonna put in the the password. So you can see it reloaded the script there. The message box came up, and you can see reloaded on the thirteenth of November twenty twelve at eight fifty, and you can see it's eight fifty. And that's pretty much it. It's using Windows XP to create a scheduled task to open your ClickView file and then using ClickView um, document properties to create on open, add an action to uh, reload the document. That's pretty much it and I'll see you next video. I hope it helps. Cheers.